the quiver 244 function draws a direction field, quiver plot, slope field, whichever word you want to use for it, for a given differential equation. MATLAB has a built-in quiver function, but it's not the easiest thing to use, so this is basically a wrapper for that function, make it easier to use for differential equations. The main setup for this function is you're going to have a differential equation of the form dy dt is a function f of t and y, and we're going to want to draw the direction field or slope field over some range of both t and y. So let's look at the method and see what it does. The description here basically says exactly what I just said, that it's going to draw this quiver plot or this slope for the function. If you look at how we call it, it's quiver 244 of a function f, a range of values for t, t min to t max, a range of values of y, y min to y max, and the color of the graph. So you can put the fields in different colors if you would like to overlay some things. And note that the function has to be a function f of t and y with the variables in that order. So let's do an example of this. I could call quiver 244 of, and it pops here, f, t min, t max, y min, y max, and color. So let's just do the function that's going to be at of t and y, an anonymous function, t plus y, minus 3 to 3 and t, minus 4 to 4 and y, and we'll put it in red. Note that for this, anonymous functions are required for this part. That is what this function takes in. It takes in an anonymous function to tell you what's going on. So I could run this section, and we'll see this function generates two plots, which is what it always should do. This first plot is the normal vectors as given. The second plot has everything scaled. So all the vectors on the second plot are scaled to be length 1, but they point in the appropriate direction on the axes idea of this plot is that now it's easier to see what's going on with the function, whereas in the middle here you might miss out on what these sort of arrows are doing in the middle because they're very small. Here the arrows are all the same length, so it's easier to see what's going on and how things are pointing. So it's always quiver 244, the function that is the right hand side of the differential equation, t limits, y limits, and a color. As a reminder, the first argument here must be an anonymous function of two variables. And it must be t then y, where t is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable of the unknown function. So an ideal way to set this up in code would be something like start by defining your function and then use quiver 244 to draw the plots. And notice something weird happened here. Quiver 244 always ends with a hold off. So if I want them all to be separate figures, I would need to add a figure command in here to separate them. What this will allow you to do when we talk about the next method is that it will allow you to actually overlay some curves on these slope fields because it doesn't actually close out the figure. So if I do this now with a new figure to put them all on new graphs and run this again, so then I'll get four figures here, two for the first graph in red, and two for the second differential equation in blue. That is this first function and how it works.